Hello everyone. I'm Rajiv Nair. I operate as a chief optometrist, Eye Foundation. I'm based out of Coimbatore. Today I'm going to talk to you about the different options available in LASIK surgery. I'm basically trying to help you how to choose the right option for your eyes. Basically what happens in your eye has a certain a main lens called cornea. This cornea has a certain curvature. This is what is giving you the power. So if you have, for example, if someone tells you that your power is minus 2, that means your cornea is uh, more curved by 2 diopters. So more curved by 2 diopters means it is extra 2 diopters more curved. So what if I, when I have to do elastic treatment for your eyes, what I need to do is I need to make this uh, more curve flatter that is extra two diopters of curve which is more curved which I have to make it more flatter. This is exactly what we are going to do in the LASIK surgery. So how do we make it flatter? So this flattening is done by removing some tissue from your cornea. So this tissue removal is done from the third layer of your cornea. Your cornea if you see it has five layers totally if you take the thickness of this cornea this has five layers. Out of the five layers the reshaping or the tissue removal is done from the third layer of your cornea. So the next question is how do we reach the third layer. For reaching the third layer what we need to do is we need to lift up the first two layers of the cornea and then subsequently we do the reshaping on the third layer. step. So this procedure where two steps are involved, this is called the LASIK procedure. Uh, this is the traditional LASIK method. So the first step where we lift the first two layers, here you have two options to choose from. We have the basic version where we use a mechanical device or a mechanical instrument to lift the two layers of the cornea. So this mechanical device uses a blade inside. This incorporates a blade inside to lift the uh, first two layers. So when we use a mechanical device, there is some element of uh, compromise or what I would say, the lifting of the two layers is uh, done by a mechanical device. So there are some limitations uh, inherent with the, any mechanical device. Due to these limitations only, the next version, the advanced version came, which is called as the bladeless LASIK. In bladeless LASIK, what happens is we have a separate laser machine, which does the job of lifting up the two layers. Here, we don't use any mechanical devices or blades. Instead, we use a laser to lift up the first two layers. So when we use a laser to lift up the first two layers, we get absolute precision. We get what we want. Like we don't, uh, uh, based on your scan, based on your topography, based on your uh, preliminary uh, scan report based on all that uh, readings we can exactly tailor make what we want. So due to these uh, the highest precision involved in the uh, lifting of the first two layers uh, the treatment also gets maximum precision in the uh, visual outcome. But in both these methods whether we use a mechanical device or whether we use a laser to lift the two layers the common factor remains that the lifting of the two layers is still there. So we have to lift the two layers to reach the, to have access to the third layer. Now we have come to the next generation of laser technology, which is called as the SMILE. SMILE, uh, the difference, everything is same like classic. Uh, correction is done on the third layer. The reshaping is done on the third layer, but everything remains the same. But the only difference is, the main difference uh, is you don't have to lift up the first two layers of the cornea. Here what we have to do is the laser directly penetrates the third layer. Directly penetrates the third layer, bypassing the first two layers. We don't need to lift up the first two layers. The laser itself penetrates the third layer and remove whatever tissue is necessary from the third layer as a single unit, as a single piece. So, uh, so and uh, after removing the tissue through the uh, single as a single piece, it is removed through the same opening through which the laser is entered. So, the entire procedure is completed through a two millimeter opening without the need of lifting up the first two layers. This is called as the smile. The smile stands for S M I L E. Smile stands for small incision lenticule extraction. That means through a small incision, the lenticule that means the power which has been removed is pulled out or extracted through a small opening that is called as smile. So these are normal procedures based on the decision to do uh, which of this option will again depend on your corneal parameters. So we have we will have a look at your corneal parameters. We will tell you which is best suitable for you. For some patients, for some patients, these methods may not be suitable. 
So in that case, we will suggest some other methods. There is a basic classic version which is called as a surface classic. In surface classic, what happens is we don't go to the third layer at all. So we don't enter the third layer at all. Here, instead, what we do is directly the laser is applied on the first layer or the top layer. We just remove the epithelium or the skin of the cornea and then the laser is directly applied on the surface. This is called as a surface laser. The surface laser is done for people who were their cornea is uh, not thick enough to do a regular LASIK procedure. And there are other methods where cornea is too thin, uh, where we cannot do a LASIK procedure. We have other methods where we use something called as an implantable contact lens. So implantable contact lens is nothing but we insert a lens because we cannot do a corneal procedure. Instead, we insert a lens inside your eye, which will correct your refractive error. Thank you so much.